Welcome to part 2 of my audio guide for Escape from Tarkov. In part 1, I introduced the topics we will be discussing today for people unfamiliar with audio hardware. I provided a few cheap options for people who didn't trust their audio while playing. While part 1 wasn't exactly a guide, part 2 will be technical. We will be testing as well as configuring our audio hardware specific to Escape from Tarkov. You will also need to use your own gameplay to test with. If you're using a physical EQ, you should know what you're doing and should be able to follow along with us just fine. However, if you're using the software options, we have two different ones available. One is a simpler option, one is a much more complex option. The simple one is the SteelSeries GG software using the Sonar, and the more complex one is a software called Equalizer APO, and we will be using a program called Configuration Editor to edit our audio preferences. It is also worth noting that if you plan on streaming, SteelSeries GG limits your ability to separate audio sources for your stream or recording. So make a choice whether or not you want to use SteelSeries GG for the simpler option or Equalizer APO for the more complex option and head down to the description, find that download link, and let's continue. The setup for SteelSeries is quick. Download, install, open up the program, head over to the Sonar tab, select the Game tab, change the default game to Escape from Tarkov, and you're essentially set. There is more tweaking that you can do here if you want to. You can test along with us once we look at our game footage, but if you wanted, this is all the setup that's required. As expected with Equalizer APO, the setup is more intensive. Install the program and select your audio hardware in the list and continue. The program requires a restart to work properly. Restart your computer and when you're booted back up, look for a program called Configuration Editor. This is what we will use to make our audio adjustments. Go ahead and delete all of the default modules. We will be adding our own. Start by clicking the plus button and adding a graphic equalizer. Use the 31 band version. Now we have to head back to the description and open another link. This one is for the Auto EQ headphone project on GitHub. So, once we're on GitHub, if you aren't familiar with this site, don't be intimidated. Just follow my steps. First, we're going to head over to the results folder. So, go ahead and click that. All right. So in here are a bunch of different people who have tested a bunch of different audio hardware. So you're going to look through all of these and look for your specific audio hardware. If you want to, you can actually search the repository. You can just look through this one, I believe, uh, as well. You can just control F and search for your specific headphone. Once you have found yours, you're going to click on it and you'll find this page, which will show you a bunch of text files. You're going to look for your graphic EQ text and click that one. This should open the text file here. And what we're going to do is we're going to select all of it from graphic EQ colon all the way to the very end of all the numbers. Right click, copy it. We're going to bring this back over to our configuration editor. And in our graphic equalizer, we're going to edit the text with this icon over here. Select all of the text with Control A, backspace to delete it, and Control V, or right click and paste. And now we have our audio hardware balanced, and we're ready to equalize it for the game. Now we need our game footage. One of the best ways to get this game footage is to start on factory and turn the boss difficulty to easy and enable bosses. So we're going to fight the gill and we're going to try to get him to heal and we're going to use all the uh, audio that we get from this encounter to tune our headset. So right now we can hear a number of different sounds, footsteps, we have healing, gunshots, all we really got to do, we're going to add another graphic equalizer, this one's going to be 15 band one, and we're going to let this play through, and we're just going to tune it to what we think we want to hear more of. There's lots of different sound cues that you want to be looking out for and then you want to be equalizing for, so just start out with uh, looking for some, and um, Start by uh, tweaking the frequencies while you're listening to it and see how it sounds. Unfortunately, you guys won't be able to hear me tweaking the frequencies in real time, but you should be able to get the gist of it. Here are my final results, although I might be tweaking them in the future, as well as some footage you can use for your own testing. Thanks for watching.